Well, congratulations on this one. Thank you. Uh, in which you play, I wouldn't say a cute and cuddly character, but a fairly distinctive one. Yeah, I mean, I actually haven't seen the movie yet, so you oh, probably know. Okay. You know more about it than I do, yeah. But, yeah, I'm uh, Fetcher. I like Nick and Fetcher are the two sort of black market rats, yeah, the wheeler dealers who um, get involved in the uh, mission to save... Uh, what's the character's name? What's Ginger. the Ginger, that's it, yeah. Molly, there you go. There you go. I told you I haven't watched it. Have uh, <laughs> you read it, though? <laughs> Uh, I haven't read the full script, I'm only really given the scenes that I've got to record, so um, yeah, listen, I'm really excited about just seeing the end product, because I've obviously been um, recording the voice since Covid, so it seemed like every six months Romesh, Ranganathan and I would reconvene in the studio and continue recording the voices, so um, just thrilled to see the end result. I'm a huge Ardman fan, you know, I've grown up with Wallace and Gromit and all of those sort of uh, amazing films that they produced year in year out and to be part of the sequel to Chicken Run which was many many years ago the original 23 years ago yeah it was a real honor to be part of it yeah and how much of your time did you spend actually reading lines and how much did you spend going ooh ah and making random noises uh, there was lots of um, ooh ah random noises <laughs> yeah um, I, I was thrilled to work with Sam Fell the director he was always our port of call uh, and he was just a wonderful guy to work with because his enthusiasm uh, and his enjoyment of what he did and um, just the whole panache he gave to the whole story was he was just infectious to work with. You know, I loved working with Sam. And um, yeah, we, any, any which way we wanted to try the line, believe you me, we, we, <laughs> we did it, yeah. And what was it like working with Romesh? Because you have the advantage of working as a kind of pair. Yeah, how was the chemistry? Well, with that? originally, you know, because I said it as it started in COVID, we were in. Um, quite, I'm going back a few years now. We were in separate studios. We were in the same building, but different studios. So obviously, as the lockdown laws were loosened, gradually we could become closer and closer and end up in the same room. Um, but I'm a huge fan of Ramesh, and um, he was just wonderful to work with, and. We did a little bit of impro with stuff, and I don't know how much of that made the actual final edit, but um, he was just a joy, yeah, a massive fan of Ramesh. And what is it like getting the phone call to be in an album film? Because obviously they have such a rich history. Um, what, what does it feel like to take on that role that's already, already been depicted on screen? It was just a huge honour, you know. Um, yeah, it's one of those pinch me moments. It's one of those calls you get from your agent that you're you're pleased that you picked up. Um, it was just great. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, a, a huge um, gift of a role, really. And and um, as I said, to be part of the sequel is incredible. And if you have a favourite moment from any Ardman film going back, or favourite character, which one would you pick? Uh, I was always a massive Wallace and. Gromit fan, you know. Um, what I love about their films is that you know you can recognise the actors' voices in it, you know. And what I'm thrilled about watching and what I'm intrigued to see is how much of the, because obviously when you're recording the voice, they're filming your facial expressions as well. So I'm interested to see how much those two things um, morph together. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!